to be or not to be? I don't think that's really the question at all. Oh no? What's the question? To act or not to act. To do or leave undone. And speaking of undone... Who are you? Grateful girl you are! Oh my god! How can anybody deal with you? You, you're going where you want to go and we'll be better off on our own. That suits everybody. You complain about the farm, you complain about the school, you complain about Karen, and now you have what you want and you are still looking for something to complain about. Please, do not raise your voice. You ought to be glad I don't do worse. It remains ordained. Hold parents in the high esteem. Grace the sacred guest. Keep your house hospitable. Honor strangers with your good fortune. They say you are a melancholy fellow. I am so. I do love it better than laughing. Those in extremity of <laughs> either are abominable fellows that betray themselves to every modern censure worse than drunkards. Why, it is good to be sad and say nothing. Why then, tis good to be opposed. I have neither the scholar's melancholy, which is emulation, nor the musician's, which is fantastical, nor the soldier's, which is ambitious. But it is a melancholy entirely mine own, abstracted from many objects, and indeed the sundry contemplation of my travels. A traveler? It's hard on me, too. At home, it's, you know? And then I go to work and I sit there absorbing my clients and I have no way to, I am up to my eyeballs, I am. You are not the only one that this is happening to.